Welcome to one of the past HSC exam question videos. In this video, we're going to cover one of the past HSC exam questions from the activity and temperature chapter. What I'll do in a second, I'll actually read the question. Once you read the question, you get about five seconds to pause the video. Once you've paused the video, attempt the question, and when you're ready, just press play, and I'll go over the actual answer step by step. So what I'll do now, I'll read the actual question. It says, name one example of an Australian endothermic animal and one example of an Australian ectothermic animal and summarize the responses to the following environmental changes. Give your answers in the form of a table. And that's worth seven marks. Change one, the ambient temperature rises well above the average daily temperature range. Change two, the ambient temperature drops well below the average daily temperature range. Your ectothermic animal goes here, your endothermic animal goes there. So get about five seconds to pause the video. Once you've paused the video, attempt the question and press play when you're ready. Right, I'm back. So for this kind of question, what you have to do, again, look at the question first. It says name one example of the Australian endothermic animal and one example of an Australian ectothermic animal. So one of each and summarize their responses to following environmental changes. So you have to look at the following, not just one, but the following. And give your answers in the form of a table. That's also very important. It has to be a table. So change one was the ambient temperature rises well above. Change two was the ambient temperature drops well below the average daily temperature. So what you have to do is you have to choose one endothermic and one ectothermic. The ones I've chosen in this video were the ones we covered in the videos, which were the red kangaroo for your endothermic. So I'll just write that there because that's where you would have written it. Oops. Red kangaroo for your endothermic. The kangaroo is a mammal, so it, mammals are endothermic animals. The ectothermic animal was, in this case, the blue tongued lizard. You could have chosen, chosen a different one, it doesn't matter. These are the ones I cover in this video. So uh, I've covered them here, and then what I did is uh, I made the table. For the table, you would have had just your red kangaroo in one of them. So red kangaroo here, put it in a different part as well. It doesn't ma matter which, if you put it there or there. And then the other one goes, is your blue tongue lizard. And now I have to summarize. So summarize means just usually more than one response. So if you aim for uh, giving two responses for each of these different um, things here, for change one and for change two, two responses, that would be ideal. So again, what was change one? Change one was that ambient temperature rises well above, so if it's too high. So for the red kangaroo, that was they lick their paws, the lick paws. Don't have to explain, it doesn't ask you to explain, it just asks you to summarize. Lick paws, and it also um, can dilate blood vessels. Dilate blood vessels because it is a Endotherms and endotherms can do that. For the blue tongue lizard, it can only use its environment, so it can seek shelter and also use that controlled exposure where it just pops out the head. Controlled exposure only shows head. So in this case, that allows it to only warm up the head as opposed to the whole body. And that's good if it's too hot because it wants to not get its full body exposed to the sun because that would be too much um, warming up. So these are the responses. Again, I just named two for each. But change two was when the ambient temperature drops well below, so when it's too low, when it's too cold. So there again, two for the red kangaroo, two for the blue tongue lizard. Uh, so for the red kangaroo, what it can do is it can constrict, constrict blood vessels. And what also it can do is it can sort of hop around more and hopping around more means more physical activity, more heat production. For the blue tongue lizard, what it will do is again, it will also seek shelter when it's too hot or when it's too cold, so seek shelter. And it can uncurl its tail. 
and that's more sun, more surface area, more sun, more warming up. So this is actually it. I mean, this is the full question. You've gotten all your seven marks for this. And the reason why, you get one mark each for naming the correct endothermic or a endothermic and Australian ectothermic animal. So we named the blue tongue lizard, that's a mark. And the red kangaroo, that's a mark. You actually also get a mark for drawing the correct table. So making it that correct. Because it's one of your HC skills is to draw a table. So now we have three out of seven. And then we get marks for the correct different um, summarizing of the correct responses. So one here, one here, one here, one here, and that's four. So that's seven out of seven. That's probably one of the easiest seven mark questions that you might get, but it's a quite common one as well, that kind of question. So where does that question come from? It comes from this dot point. Compare responses, so that's what we just did. We compared the responses of named exothermic and endothermic organisms to changes in the ambient temperature. That's the part we did. We actually didn't do the second part, which is and explain how these responses assist in temperature regulation. The question itself didn't ask us to explain that. It just asked us to compare the response of ectothermic and endothermic animals. So I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.